What is going on you guys? Welcome to part three of the starting from zero challenge. We started off week three with $389.95 and technically it's like the middle of week three right now as I'm filming this. So let's start by recapping what's gone on so far in week three and how much profit I'm at currently. I started off week three heading to my local Salvation Army family store and one of the first things I found when I walked in the door was this pair of men's Allbird wool running shoes. Great brand, especially for only $4.99. I got those shoes cleaned up and listed on my second eBay store for slightly under market value, but they did sell the same day I listed them for $33 plus shipping. The next day, I decided to head back to my local Goodwill and headed straight for the shoes. I found this pair of women's Hoka One One running shoes, pretty good condition for only $6.50, scooped them up. These Hokas were in really good shape other than being a little dirty, so I spent a few minutes cleaning them up and then experimented with taking some outdoor photos of them and they turned out really well. I got them listed for $50 plus shipping and they sold within a couple hours, but the bad thing was that I accidentally listed them on my primary eBay store instead of the secondary secret eBay store. So I went to my Instagram and asked you guys, my Instagram followers, if I should include this pair of Hoka's in my starting from zero challenge and 80% of you said, yes, so I am. The next item I sold is this Fisher Price cleanup kit that I picked up at Dream Deals in the very first installment of this challenge. I finally got somebody on Facebook interested and it sold for nine bucks. Remember this pair of Brooks running shoes I picked up in the second video? I really wanted to move this pair of Brooks running shoes, so not only did I list them pretty significantly under what they were actually worth, but I also took the time to cross post to multiple platforms. I had this pair of shoes listed on Facebook Marketplace, eBay, Mercari, and Poshmark. And fun fact, these actually sold over on Poshmark for $15 plus shipping. Not a lot of money, but it was my very first Poshmark sale ever, and it was kind of exciting. Back in the second video, I found this catcher's mask at Salvation Army for $3.99 and finally sold it on Facebook Marketplace for $25 plus shipping. model number down there. I spent a total of $5 on it. As of today, I've still not been able to fully test this Wii Band Hero drum set, so it hasn't been listed or sold yet, obviously, but we will hopefully get to that in week four of the challenge. Another Facebook Marketplace pickup here. This guy was asking 50 bucks for a copy of NCAA Football 14 for PS3 disc only. Went ahead and picked that up for sure. I got this game clean, tested, and listed on my second eBay store for $90 plus shipping, and I believe it sold the very next business day for full asking price, 90 bucks plus shipping. As you guys saw, I picked up some really nice items today. I'm pretty excited about these. I got this really nice lacrosse cascade helmet. I don't think this is a crazy expensive brand, but it does have some gloves in there. So I'm just gonna take the tape off of this and the price tag I paid $4.94 for that at Goodwill. Uh, and I'm gonna take this straight to Play It Again Sports along with the other items I got as well. We got this tennis tube, tennis ball retriever and practice aid. And that had a couple golf clubs in it as well. Nothing crazy, a little Nicholas uh, five wood and two wedges, Adams golf, a gap wedge and a sand wedge. Uh, and then I got this ab rocker thing. This thing's really cool because I mean, just workout equipment in general is selling really well on eBay right now. Uh, if you search ab, ab rocket, was the app? Yeah, ab, ab rocket on eBay. There's been like 118 of them that have sold in the last 90 days and there's only like 73 listed. So that's about, I don't know, like a 120, 130% sell through rate, which is really, really good. But I think I'm just going to go the easy way on this lot that I got today and take everything to play it against sports. The lacrosse helmet, the gloves, the ab rocket, and the tennis tube and the golf clubs. Um, I'm not gonna list any of this on Facebook or eBay, taking it straight to play against sports. I think, I think I can probably talk them into giving me between 40 and 50 bucks for all this stuff. And we spent, like I said, at uh, $4.94 on the lacrosse helmet. And then at the bins, it was half off day. 
So they only charged me a total of $5 for everything, the ab rocket, the tennis tube, and the, the three golf clubs. So I uh, only have a total of $9. Uh, I rounded up at that one, I rounded up to five. So we have a total of $10 into all these items. So if he can give me 50, that would be immediate profit of 40 bucks, which would be awesome for this challenge. I just spent a few minutes out here in the garage cleaning some of this stuff up before I took it to play it against sports so I could be more likely to get more money for my items. The uh, lacrosse helmet, we had to take all the tape off and get all the tape residue off, but after that, it is in basically like new condition, the gloves as well. The ab rocket, I took off the price tags from the seat and cleaned it up a little bit. That's looking really good. The golf gloves cleaned up really nice. The only thing I had a slight issue with was the tennis tube, and that's because it has like, I mean, you don't see it now, but it had like these like, marker or sharpie drawings all over one side and i used a mr clean magic eraser and some germex and all that got cleaned off perfectly this is in perfect condition no more marker marks on it at all so let's take this stuff to play it against sports and see how much we can make out of the way here get all this stuff inside Whew. hey what's up man got a lot of stuff for you all right so we got a we'll call some of those gloves ab rockets Got a tennis ball picker upper mm -hmm. and three golf clubs. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. I appreciate y'all. Thanks a lot. Yep. Take it easy. I'll be back. All right, so I have good news and I have bad news. The bad news is that they didn't want the ab rocket. I showed him how well it was selling on eBay and for a good amount of money, but he just wasn't interested at all. He just didn't want it. So I got that back in the trunk. I guess I'll list it on eBay and Facebook Marketplace and try to move it locally, or I might ship it out. Who knows? We'll, we'll deal with that when we get there. But the good news is that they did take the lacrosse helmet, the lacrosse gloves, the tennis ball picker upper, and all three golf clubs, and they paid me a total of $67 for that stuff. I literally just got all that stuff at Goodwill today for $10, including the ab rocket, which I still have, which could sell on eBay for 75 bucks plus shipping, you know, or 50 or something. So like turning 10 into 67 automatically and then still having a really nice high dollar item like that that we can still move later on in this challenge is huge. And yes, they did spell my name wrong, Josh Barnell instead of Josh Varnell, but for $67, you can call me whatever you want. Obviously, I was pretty surprised that I was able to get that much money for those items. So I was trying to go back through and think about what I missed. And I think it must have been the lacrosse helmet because the golf clubs aren't anything fancy. Those are going to sell for 20 bucks a piece, maybe. Uh, the tennis tube, I looked that up on Amazon, knew those were like $39.95 or something. So used, they're probably going to sell that for 20, 25 bucks as well. So it must have been the lacrosse helmet. I think that lacrosse helmet was worth a lot more than I was thinking. I know Cascade is a good brand but there's certain models that sell for hundreds of dollars and certain models that sell for like 30 or 40 uh, and I didn't see a model number on it anyway so that really makes me feel comfortable about going to the store in the future knowing that you know they could have paid me 40 bucks and I probably would have walked out with just a big smile on my face but they actually really want to pay you as much as they can while still ensuring a profit so that's why I'm going to keep bringing stuff to this place to help them you know provide them with profitable inventory to sell and move stuff quickly in this challenge today has obviously been great for this challenge but it's not quite over yet I was perusing Facebook marketplace and I came across a listing of this guy selling like half a garage of stuff just like random junk he was asking 150 bucks for everything and I was looking at some of the pictures he added to the Facebook listing and I noticed a rock band box in the back background so I sent him a message and asked him if it was complete he's like yeah it's got the drums the, the stand the 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 guitar the microphone everything's in there except the game and I was like well is there any way you would just take like 40 bucks just for the rock band set and I don't need the other stuff in the garage he's like yeah that's fine and I talked to him a little bit I told him you know I'm looking for other like video games or anything like that to sell he has a Nintendo Wii that he's gonna let me look at and his son has two more Guitar Hero guitars that he wants to sell so I'm on the way there now this could be a huge haul for this challenge rock band stuff is kind of difficult to ship it's a little big and bulky but the money is definitely there hey good how are you no, that's fine. Got a bunch of so. I, I understand. All right, uh, so this, so is this the, was the rock band. Okay. And the box did say Xbox 360 on it, but I didn't have the software. That's fine. Uh, yeah. Yeah, these are that's for mean, Xbox. They were, they were in. They for what? This oh, is Xbox. Like how you look. Yeah. I, hell, I didn't know I had to get my son that. Yeah. <laughs> son I said, how you tell what these it's, things is for? It's hard. But it had the uh, guitar with it. 
had the, I guess this is for the drums, maybe? Yep. Hell, yep. I don't know. And I got some bunch of stands, got a microphone. I'm not exactly, uh, not exactly sure what that's for. But oh, yeah, a little adapter. That thing. had yeah. something, had some uh, drum sticks, and then he the had two of these. You asked what they were for. I said, I really don't know. Can you tell? I think these are for. Well, I guess they're like a cord, though, if you're supposed to have a cord with it. I didn't know. I, he's, he had them in the closet. He's, yeah. He said. I'm pretty, they're pretty sure they're for PlayStation. What does he want to get for these? Uh, you make me an offer on them if you want them. But then I had a week. A week? Yeah, I went home and said, too, I want to get rid of the week. But we actually had a lot of, my wife said, if you buy it, you can't have the basket. Can't have the basket, nope, okay. But I had a whole lot of uh, games. I mean, great day we had. Yeah, we had a, a ton of games. Uh, well, that was one of my favorite two big game hunters. Yeah. <laughs> I used to play that on PlayStation. Indiana Jones, Star Wars. Hope Park, whatever the hell that is. Super Mario Mix. I don't know if anything. Mario Kart. Yeah. I know I remember playing them Mario a, a lot. Yeah. Well, the, so these are for GameCube. They'll still work on Wii. Do you guys have a GameCube? I don't know about that one. It's, yeah. it's like the old, uh, it's like a <laughs> Yeah, I remember Navy that thing. Cube. I remember they worked together, though. Yeah. I mean, they'll still work with the, the with the Wii, but I see those. I'm like, well, let me, let me ask because I'm, I'm in the market for, like I said, anything to do with video games. You just accepting offers on this, or you got a price in mind? I was accepting offers. I don't have a slice idea how much a uh, uh, a it, week it, worth. It it varies. I mean, especially like back with all when the games. Yeah, back when um, like lockdown first started, I mean they were going for like two hundred bucks. Really? Like I mean usually they're like a doorstop. You know, last right. year they were selling for nothing. Right. And then once everybody's stuck at home, it skyrocketed, and now it's kind of leveling off a bit. Um, but you got some good games for sure. Yeah, I didn't even know how much the games were selling for. Uh, hell, I didn't even know if, like, GameStop even bought them games anymore. They don't. <laughs> don't, don't never take anything to GameStop. They're, they're, they're going to nickel and dime you right. to death. Hell, I didn't even know if they still bought Wii games. Honestly, they probably probably don't. If they do, I mean, they're probably going to be, like, 50 cents a piece or something. Right. Um, and you got the GameCube controller. Oh, is that what that's for? Yeah. I but you can still, you can I still plug it in. I was wondering why it was orange. Yeah, you can still plug it in. <laughs> Um, I'm like, hell, ain't that don't end the rest of the game orange. I was yeah. wondering why that was orange. I'm not sure I brought enough money. You, you have PayPal or Venmo or anything? Just I got a bill and cash app. Is that, okay, I can do either one of those. How, could you do 100 bucks on the whole Wii bundle? I think that's, I mean, like I said, you got a couple. I'll do 125. I'll do 125. I think right. that's, I think we had fair. 40 on the one thing, so that's what, 165? 165. What do you think the two guitar heroes are worth? 20 bucks? Yeah. Work there? Probably not. Just, I think they're for PlayStation Two. Um, I mean, I, I yeah, I give you five bucks a piece on those. Right. Uh, so I put us at one seventy-five. Right. I got home last night and it was a little too late to go through everything, so I brought everything inside and I've been looking at what I got from that guy last night and I am freaking pumped, baby. Let's take a look at this stuff and show you my projected profit on this haul. I paid a hundred and eighty-five dollars for everything. I paid one seventy-five at first. And I went to go leave and he's like, oh, hold on, hold on. I had already turned my camera off and he came back and had this extra Guitar Hero guitar still in the box, not new in the box. It's it's used, but it does work and it's it has the original box. So uh, he was like, you want this? I was like, yeah, of course, of course I want this. He's like, I bought 10 bucks. I'm like, great. So I, again, I paid him 175 at first and an extra 10. So 185 for everything I'm about to show you. Uh, so of course the first thing, the one thing I went to go get from him is the Rock Band kit. It is complete. It's got the drums, the stand, the pedal. Uh, and he also had two of these, I think, uh, Kramer wireless guitars for PS2. So I picked both of these up for five bucks a piece. Uh, again, all included in the price I paid. So we got all that plus the extra Les Paul. So let's get into the real money makers, these Wii games. So these are all the basic games I got that aren't really worth uh, much on their own. I mean, Mario and Sonic, Call of Duty, uh, Lego stuff. So I'm just going to lot these. I'm making a lot with the Nintendo Wii. I'm going to sell the actual unit, which does work. It's over there. I fully tested it. Sell so the unit with two Wiimotes, two nunchucks, and all these games. And also has the stand. Uh, it also came with this orange Nintendo GameCube controller. I need to plug it in and see if it works. It's missing the cover on the gray joystick, but even in the current condition, as long as it works, I can probably get about $30 to $35 for that. I've got a Wii Sports Resort game and one of the Wiimote uh, Motion Plus controllers. I'm going to lock those two together. It does have the back. I had to use the back to test with, but um, as long as the remote works, I'm going to lock those together. Those will probably sell for 
I don't know, 25, 30 bucks maybe. I found a Mario Kart for Nintendo Wii in here. I opened it up and the disc was missing, but when I plugged in the Nintendo Wii to test it, Mario Kart is the game that's inside. So I'm gonna play that and make sure it works. So that game is complete with the manual and I'm gonna add in the Wii steering wheel with it uh, and probably get 30, 35 bucks for that. I've got two fitness games, a Zumba and a Wii Fit Plus. The Wii Fit Plus has everything in it and so does the Zumba. Um, just disc, I mean, just the games only without the Wii Fit board will probably sell for $15 or so. I got two Kirby games. This one, Kirby's Return to Dreamland, is pretty good. It sells for about 25 to 30 I think. This one's not great, maybe 10 So I'm just going to lot these two together for maybe 35 to 40 bucks. Also got these two games on a lot together. Mario Power Tennis and Mario Super Sluggers. Uh, I think with both of them together, I should be able to get 25 bucks or so plus shipping. And here is where we get into the big money. We got... Uh, Poke Park for Nintendo Wii. This is going to sell for about $30. It's complete, has the disc and all the manuals and everything inside. We got Sonic Riders Zero Gravity. This is like a $15, $20 game. Donkey Kong Country Returns is about a $10 to $15 game. Mario Sports Mix is a really good game. It's complete, has the manual and the disc inside, and that'll sell for probably $30 to $35 plus shipping. Then we got Mario Kart Double Dash for Nintendo GameCube. We open it up. It's got the bonus disc with it and the Double Dash game with it and the manual. This will probably sell for close to, if not more, than $70 plus shipping. Crazy fun here. And then finally, Mario Party 4 for Nintendo GameCube. Open it up. It's got the manual. It's got the disc. I've got to plug it into the Wii to make sure it all works. But uh, as long as this works, it'll sell for about $70 to $80 plus shipping as well. So $160, about $150, $160 just on these two Nintendo GameCube games. Obviously, I still have to get this stuff listed and actually sold, but this stuff sells super fast. I'm really, really confident that we're going to make a ton of money with this haul. And now comes the hard part of getting all of this stuff listed. It'll probably take me two to three hours to get everything you know organized and, and set up for photographs and photographed and actually listed but I'm thinking if I can knock that out over the next day or so and then get everything listed on my second eBay store most of this stuff is going to sell before the challenge is over before the 30 days are over a lot of this stuff sells multiple times per day like the Mario Kart Double Dash game sells like four to five times a day. You know, the sell-through rate on these games are crazy as long as they're priced correctly. The only ones that aren't selling super fast are the ones that are listed for a little bit higher than the, the market value. But I'm super excited about this. I don't know about the whole entire profit, but I think this haul is going to be the reason that I hit $1,000 in this 30-day starting from zero challenge. What is up, you guys? It is day 21 of the challenge, the very last day of week three. Three days ago was the last clip that you just saw in this video. That's where I was unboxing my Nintendo Wii bundle that I picked up, and I said I was going to try my very best to get all that stuff listed, and I did. It took me, I'd say, about three and a half hours, a little bit longer than I thought, but every single item I had in that bundle was listed on eBay, and a couple of those were cross-posted to Facebook Marketplace as well. Well, and over the weekend, everything but two items sold on eBay. This is what I have shipping out today. This is a mixture of my primary eBay store and the secondary eBay store and some direct to viewer sales as well. But we have a total of 38 items going out today. And I think 13 of them are specifically from this starting from zero challenge. So I'll take you guys inside now to my office to do a complete breakdown of everything that I sold and, sh and show you where we are in, in terms of getting to our $1,000 goal for this challenge. So I think the easiest way to go through this is just to share my screen with you guys and go through my whole eBay store showing you what actually sold, when it sold, and how much it sold for. And then I can show you my Google spreadsheet showing you the actual profit from all of the video game items that I sold. So starting down here, you can see this is the pair of Allbirds that I sold earlier in this week. Um, the first video game to sell was the Mario Kart Double Dash for $62 plus shipping. I did charge shipping on every single item that I sold. I think that's important to do if you're a new reseller getting into it you definitely want to charge people shipping because if you don't know how to ship stuff yet and you try to offer free shipping you could easily lose a ton of money so 62 bucks free shipping on that then we sold the mario kart for nintendo wii for 22 plus shipping the pokey park game sold for 21 dollars plus shipping uh, there's the ncaa game that sold for 90 uh, the donkey kong game sold for 12.99 the nintendo wii uh, Super Sluggers and Tennis Combo, that one sold for 14 plus shipping. 
Mario Sports Mix sold for $19.99 plus shipping, $35 plus shipping on the Wii Sports Resort bundle. I lotted both of the PlayStation 2 guitars together because they just weren't worth a ton of money and I definitely didn't want to ship two of them separately. So I lotted them together for $24.99 plus shipping and those sold as well. Uh, Mario Party 4 for Nintendo GameCube sold for, sold for $73 plus shipping. I think I originally listed it for $84 plus shipping and somebody sent me an offer of like $65 and we just went back and forth and originally accepted that offer of $73 which was awesome. We sold the uh, Les Paul guitar for $64.99 plus shipping. Really good there. The Sonic Raiders game sold for $10 plus shipping and the Nintendo GameCube controller sold for $14 plus shipping. That would be worth a lot of money if I was able to test it properly. I plugged it into the Nintendo Wii that worked and I just couldn't get it to work. So I definitely didn't want to sell it as working because I didn't have a GameCube to fully test it with. So I, uh, I just put in the description that it's untested, sold as is, and priced it appropriately, $14 bucks plus shipping, and that sold. All of this sold... I'm pretty sure within like 10 hours, but definitely within 24 hours of listing it, which is just absolutely incredible. This video game stuff like this is always going to move super fast, even if you have a relatively brand new eBay store. I think when I started listing items, these video games items on this store, I only had five total feedback. And that doesn't matter because I'm selling very desirable in demand items and as long as you have some decent feedback you know two or three or five and you're selling items at a fair market value that people want to buy you're going to get sales rolling in very very quickly here's the nintendo wii bundle that sold on facebook marketplace for 125 dollars plus shipping and the rock band bundle that sold for 150 dollars plus shipping so here is my spreadsheet for the video games i just sold as you can see i didn't include shipping because buyers paid that so i just have the the sale price without shipping, and then we're taking out the eBay fees in the second column, and then the third column is our profit after eBay fees and shipping, because we're not including shipping. So that gives us a total profit on everything that we sold of $586.60. And then we can go and add that in to the $390.13, which would give us a grand total for the third week of the challenge of $976.73, which is so incredibly close to a thousand in the third week I can't even stand it and then earlier today after I'd already started editing this video I got another Facebook marketplace sale and it turns out it was the Disney princess TV that I got for free in the week two of this challenge so I have zero dollars into this it was cross posted on both Facebook and eBay and it sold on Facebook for forty dollars plus forty dollars in shipping I took a big risk with this because it was too heavy to use Facebook's prepaid shipping label, so I had to put in a set shipping amount. You can't do calculated shipping on Facebook Marketplace, so I just guessed that I could probably ship it anywhere in the country for close to $40. I might lose a little bit of money on something that would maybe go to California or an area like that, but again, it was a risk. And I looked at the seller, and the seller actually lives like 11 miles away from my home address. So I messaged him, he, he already paid for it. He paid the $40 plus 40 in shipping. It was all in like $86 after taxes. And I was like, hey, I can just bring this to your house today and like refund you half the shipping costs. I'll just bring like a $20 bill and the TV, would that be okay? And he's like, yeah, that's totally fine. So after I pay my eBay fees and give him the $20 back, as like a shipping discount, I'm left with $62.08 in pure profit on that free TV, and that will bring our total for week three of the Starting From Zero Challenge to $1,038.81. So since I started week three with $389.95 and ended week three with $1,038.81, that means in the process of week three, I made a total profit of $648.86. Also in week three, I worked about 16 hours on this challenge, going to get the items and cleaning and listing and going to play it against sports. All that time together was about 16 hours. So that means my hourly income for week three was approximately $40.50. 55 cents per hour. My total miles driven this week was actually going to be pretty low, but now that I have to drive 11 miles to take the Disney Princess TV to the buyer on Facebook, that's an extra 22. So my total miles for week three is about 45. So there you have it, guys. That is the synopsis of week three of the Starting From Zero Challenge. Obviously, I got super lucky, knocked it out of the park with that video game pickup. I definitely did not expect to find something that profitable in this challenge. I thought it was just going to be, you know, shoes and small $30 to $50 profit items, but finding that 
deal on Facebook Marketplace was a huge win for us. I definitely didn't expect it to be so easy to hit $1,000 in this challenge. I thought it was going to be pretty challenging because that's the whole point of the challenge. But now I'm curious to see how much further I can take this in the last week of this starting from zero challenge. Can I get to 1250? Can I get to 1500? Can I get to 2000? I don't think so, but I'll certainly try. As always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I definitely appreciate your time. If you enjoyed it at all, take a couple seconds and hit that like button down below. It's totally free and really helps me and the channel out a ton. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below as well. Thank you guys again for watching. You're the best and I'll catch you on the next one.